greatness takes time. Yeah. Me being overlooked, the way I see it now, me being overlooked was God's protection. Yeah. He did not want the anointing that was on my life to be contaminated mm. with those who were just playing games. And for all of those that are listening that have been overlooked, your time is coming. We just did a conference and our theme was the Davids are coming. And next year, it'll be the Davids are here. <laughs> because there's this this sense this sense of people that have been in places of obscurity, they've been hidden, they've been isolated, but they're extremely gifted, extremely anointed, but they've never got notoriety, they never got credit, nobody ever mentioned their names, nobody ever gave them referrals. They just they're just kind of like in training their entire life. Yeah. I had to realize that maybe God has been training me my whole entire life for one moment. Mm. And that one moment is to bring an entire generation with me to yeah. show, I know you've been overlooked. I know they never paid you attention, but this is now your time. There's a whole generation of, of talent, generation of gifts, generation of anointing that yeah. we've never seen before. Yeah. But because we have, quote unquote, our favorites and who yeah. we like yeah. and who we want, we neglect those that are on the sideline yeah. being prepared because we're so quick to go grab the names that are so yeah. easy to grab. Yeah. Instead of saying, hey, I want to invite you, though nobody knows you, I want to invite you because I believe you have something to offer. Yeah. Yeah. Hidden in plain sight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Hidden, Hidden in plain sight. Hidden in plain sight. Yeah. There are some people now, Brandy, and I even say this to you, that are going to try to reconnect with you in this season. But when they had a chance to embrace how gifted you were, they didn't. But they God, already in my DMs, Pastor Dwight. Come on now. They already in my DMs. I saw it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> they already there. They already there. They already there. Because they realize I had an opportunity with you. Yeah. And I blew it. Yeah. I blew it because I did not value the yeah. fact that you were a diamond. I didn't value the fact that you were precious. I didn't value the fact that you had so much to offer and I was looking for. Some. There's a difference in a cubic zirconian and a diamond. Yeah. Because cubic zirconians have the appearance of the real thing, but they're fake. They'll last a couple of weeks. Yeah. But diamonds can be scratched. They can be chipped, but they'll never lose their value. They'll never lose their value. Mm -hmm. You talk about the Davids are coming. I want to go back because I feel like there are some listeners who may not really be familiar with the David story. Mm -hmm. And so I, I I think my context clues are lending me that this is about David and yes. how he was being prepared. Mm -hmm. He was the youngest. He was out in the field. He was like, is there somebody else? Samuel said, is there somebody else who's here? Right. Yes, I, sometimes yes. I be getting my scriptures confused and no, people, no, no, but no. I think it. I was all right. Yeah, I got it. You okay. Right, woo, come you, you on right now. On, you right on. Gold it. star. Okay. <laughs> I went to vacation Bible school, y'all. And so <laughs> overlooked. Is there somebody else here? I feel like there's somebody else here. Well, I just got David. He's out in the field. Uh, yeah. Here we come all cruddy and muddy and dirty. Uh -huh. And he's the one. Yes. Um, here's the thing. Um, oftentimes man's favorite is not God's favorite. Oh, Ooh. Oftentimes, Ooh. who men love, God is completely opposite. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I, I just want to take off running, Pastor. Yeah. I know you a Pentecostal, Pastor. Yeah. Listen, I, I want to I wanna take off running right now. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Man's favorite is not God's favorite. Yeah. And David was the last option, but he was the best option. He was the eighth son, and the number eight in biblical numerology means new beginning, which means that God said, I want you to be the eighth son because I'm going to start something new with you. Hmm. I'm going to start something completely over with you. And there might be some listening right now who've never been to college in your family. You never got married. Uh, you, you, you've never made several different income streams. You're going to be the first in your family to do something that's never been done before. Yeah. None of David's brothers ever acknowledged the fact that he was gifted, anointed, special, and called for such a time as this. Hmm. They were so gun hold on taking the position that they didn't train for. Mm. And David was in training, but he didn't want a position. Yeah. And God loves to elevate people who aren't looking for positions, but are more concerned about putting in the work. Yeah. And so when Samuel came to town, you know the story of Brandy. Uh, we both grew up in a, a vacation Bible study and Bible Sunday school. And we understand that when David was called, 
his David, his father reluctantly mentioned him. Yeah. yeah. Samuel said, well, do you have David? He's in the back tending sheep. And he mentioned the fact that he was tending sheep because Jesse, David's father, assumed that if I mention his profession, then that would disqualify him. Ooh. Ooh. Because he's tending sheep, you ain't really going to want him. Yeah. But oftentimes, our profession can qualify us. Yeah. David was tending sheep, and Samuel says, hmm, he's tending sheep. Maybe I do want him because I want a king that works. Yeah. And I want a king that knows how to get his hands dirty. Yeah. And I want a king uh, who doesn't want to be seen. Yeah. And I want a king. David was a worshiper. Uh, he wrote Psalms. He was a warrior. Yeah. And nobody talked about this. Yeah. They just talked about him doing sheep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah. is good. That's yeah. good. Because so many people feel overlooked, whether they're on their job, whether mm -hmm. they're at school, whether they're even mm -hmm. in their relationship.